people's eyes light up and they say, I did not get, I didn't realize this. It's very deceptive. They want to know if it was a royal wedding, they want to know if it was Cirque du Soleil, they want to know if it was a car show. And now to reveal here with a uh, 11 day music festival in the heart of Kitty Vitty, an historic area. Everything here is custom made. Everything is, is built for the patron. And we're going to have a fun night when this gets kicked off. We're standing on a two tiered lounge that overlooks the stage. We have 881 bleacher seats in here. We have a custom wine lounge, so you can go in and try your favorite uh, wine of choice. Uh, we have draft beer, we have cold beer, and then we have uh, a couple of food vendors here, we'll, which will uh, make the event special. Uh, Seamus, I know you organized a lot of concerts over the years. What are some of the lessons that you learned from all of those other shows that you applied into the production and design of this concert series? It's sure, it's all about um, you know the patron experience. So how do you minimize the lines? How do you make sure the beer is cold? How do you, you know, make sure the music is loud? So we've taken the best of everything and kind of compressed it here. I've got some great people working around me for sure and they, uh, they, they're the best in class. I noticed about the lineup right away. Uh, rather than go for broke on one big superstar on one big night, you really spread it around and 10 medium big acts. Let's talk about the strategy sure. involved in plotting that out. Well, I think the variety in the genre of music was key. Uh, certainly, it's tough to sell to this demographic night after night on an 11-day festival. And we've done a partnership with the Rec House Jazz and Blues Festival, and they brought something different to the table, which is great, Big Sugar and the Phosphor Kings. So we tried to complement it with a bit of youth-oriented band, a little bit of classic rock with Burton Cummings, throw in some country western with Dean Brody, and I think it makes for a great festival lineup. A little something here for everybody.